the finale of the first season of the House of the Dragon was finally released. One that concludes with one of the saddest moments of the series. The loss of Lucerys Valerian. Rhaenyra is ready to take her revenge, and the dragons have begun their dance. But what will happen in the next season? And much more important, when will we be able to enjoy the second season? What would you think if I told you that tomorrow will be the premiere of something extremely important for this universe? Something you really can't miss. In this video we will be talking about the next season of the House of the Dragon, and all the projects that are coming in the future of this universe. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this review, if you want to participate in our Funka Pops giveaway and the book Fire and Blood, from which the House of the Dragon was adapted, you just have to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and tell us which character you think should be king, and why. The winner will be revealed on November 20th. The House of the Dragon has broken all audience records. In the first season, it has positioned itself as the most watched series in the history of the internet. And this opens the door to other productions in this universe. These productions could premiere as soon as next year. But first let's talk about the House of the Dragon. The first thing you should know about this second season of the House of the Dragon, is that it will not have big time jumps as it happened in this first season, which showed us time jumps of decades. The reason is simple. Actually, what they really wanted to show was the Dance of the Dragons. That moment in which the Targaryen War occurs. The first season served as a prequel to what will happen later. We can say that the series really began in Episode 9. Everything that happened before that episode, were preparations for us to meet the characters. Season 2 will take a slower and more similar style to Game of Thrones. It will no longer have these big time jumps. It will only focus on the conflict between the green side and the side of Queen Rhaenyra. Another important point is that producer Ryan Condal mentioned that in this first season, he had not left room for comedy or for scenes a little more relaxed. This is something that could be added to the next seasons. Many have theorized that we will finally see a character from the books called Mushroom, who is a jester to the king, and who is a dwarf. Also, director Miguel Sapochnik resigned as showrunner. But it is thought that this is because Miguel will be in charge of producing the Corley's Valerian and Jon Snow series. But we will talk about this later in the video. According to what has been mentioned to the press, it is expected that the House of the Dragon will last at least four seasons, and then expand into other stories of the same family. In the very near future, a spin-off of the House of the Dragon could be announced, where the story of Aegon the Conqueror will be shown. But what will happen now in this new season of the House of the Dragon? The first season concludes with Rhaenyra accepting that she must go to war. Her grief over the loss of her son Lucerys is so great that she will not stop until she burns down all of King's Landing. In this second season, we can expect many betrayals and conflicts, and a big event similar to Lucerys and Eamon's confrontation. We will no longer see the sweet Rhaenyra of the first season, an innocent and rebellious young woman. The version we will see of Rhaenyra is more similar to that of the Mad Queen, namely Daenerys Targaryen, when she wished to conquer Westeros. Debts will be settled, but at what cost? We will also be discussing in full what happens next in an upcoming video. But when does this second season premiere? After the premiere of that final episode of the first season of the House of the Dragon, many people claimed that the next season would see the light in 2024. Two long years to know how Rhaenyra will get even with the Hightowers. But in the past few days, Forbes magazine has stated that the filming of this series will begin at the end of this year. This puts us a year or a year and a half away from its premiere. There is a high possibility that next year we will have the House of the Dragon back. 
But even if we have to wait two long years, don't despair. This doesn't mean that we won't have more content from the Game of Thrones universe. There are currently two series in pre-production, which could be announced at any time, and will be released possibly in 2023. The first one is about Corlys Valerian. We know that most of his time in the House of the Dragon, Corlys spent his days in the Battle of Stepstones. This war against the Triarchy consumed his entire life. Damon was even part of this war at one point. Well, the first spin-off series of the House of the Dragon will be about the Sea Serpent and his story. This spin-off is one that would be easier to make, as we already have all the scenery and costumes of the Valerians, and of course, we could see Damon doing a cameo appearance, or we could even have scenes of King Viserys, as it is mentioned this series will occur during the story of the first season of the House of the Dragon. The next series currently in pre-production is the Jon Snow series. One that will narrate the events after Jon was sent back to the Night's Watch. There are rumors of return, not only of all the Starks, but also of characters such as Tyrion Lannister and Daenerys Targaryen. The story of this new series will possibly be connected to the history of the House of the Dragon, since according to several interpretations, the promised prince is really Jon Snow the same prince that had been prophesied. But if you are a very fanatic of this universe, and do not want to wait, I have good news for you. Tomorrow, October 25th, a book called The Rise of the Dragon will be released. This book narrates the events that took place in Westeros, from the conquest of Aegon to the Dance of the Dragons. This book delves deeper into the stories, and is a great complement to the series. Now that the first season is over, we are ready to delve into its story. Maybe reveal those scenes that were deleted, and learn about those stories that were left unfinished. So on this channel, we will keep the flame of the House of the Dragon alive as the series returns. We also plan to delve into stories from the books and the Game of Thrones series. This is just the beginning of this channel, and we are ready to listen to the Song of Ice and Fire for a long time. But tell me what you think. Are you eager to see the next season of The House of the Dragon? Are you a reader of the books and ready for tomorrow's premiere? Or would you rather wait until the second season premieres to find out what will happen? And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe and The House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on The Three-Eyed Raven.